May I draw the attention of the board to the first item on the agenda, which Mr. is... Mr. Chairman. Professor Loftus. I should like to add an extra item to today's agenda. Indeed, what might that be? A proposal that the scheme for the building of the new research laboratories is approved of, so that the work can begin immediately. Have you a second, um? What is it? We're asking for a second, um. Oh, no, 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 I haven't finished the first one yet. Ye <laughs> mm. gods. No second, um. Very well, then. The first item concerns new chandeliers for the library. Some more books would be more sensible. Kindly address your remarks to the chair, Professor. Now, the estimate so far... Uh, Mr. Chairman. What, Professor Loftus? On a point of order, I note that there's still no junior doctor representative on the board, and therefore I presume that any major decisions taken here today are null and void. Your presumption is incorrect. Although able to take part in policy making, the junior representative does not form part of the quorum. Well, aren't we getting a new one? If you read your agenda a little more carefully and interrupted less, you would see that we are interviewing candidates tomorrow. You mean, choose the one you want. I do not propose to indulge in any more mudslinging, Professor. We have an agenda here, and I propose that we adhere to it. Don't you? Yes. yes. Uh, and I'd like... What is it, Mr. Rees? I'd like one of those with walnuts on the top. <laughs> From this graph, it's perfectly reasonable to project that within the next 40 years, the population of the world will be double what it is now. And on that rather disturbing note, we'll finish for today. Here. You don't half pack them in, don't you? What was that lecture on? Sex? <laughs> population. Same thing. Uh -oh. <laughs> In order that man may survive, he must learn to control his birth rate. Well, I've got a clear conscience. <laughs> you really ought to have a word with Paul here. He's having all the luck. Uh, it's a serious problem, Dick. I know. I'm going spare. <laughs> I'll tell you another serious problem. Do you know the board still hasn't decided on those new labs yet? What? Oh, it makes you sick. I mean, do you two realise that until we get those new labs built, this, God help us, is the research department of St Swithin's? Yes. I'm furious. Since when did you worry about the new labs? Since I fixed up a deal to supply the builders with the paint for them. <laughs> if the new labs aren't built, I'm lumbered with 500 gallons of grey paint, 12 workbenches and 40 rucksacks. 40 rucksacks? Mm, part of the deal. So are the workbenches. Your attitude is appalling, Dick. I mean, at least Paul and I want them built for the good of the hospital. We don't stand to gain financially, do we, Paul? No. No! Are you in on this deal as well? I just lent him the money to buy the paint. For 10% of the profit. That's well. Uh, listen, you should be interested in improving the facilities. We are, we are keeping down the cost of painting the place. That helps. Oh, no. What we really need is a new hospital board. Or better still, a good junior representative on the board. Right. Yes. Now. Donkey. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Whenever you start calling me Donkey, I know there's a con coming. Oh, that's charming, isn't it? Now I know there is one. What is it? There isn't. Mm, he's too bright for us. Mm. No, you're right, you're right. But it, it isn't a con, it's a sort of a scheme. Oh, it's a scheme, is it? Yeah, look, you want the new labs. Mm, yeah. So do we. Uh, so does Loftus. So does Loftus. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Well, if you get on the board and support Loftus, you'll do it. Ah, oh, the chairman wouldn't let me anywhere near the board. Oh, okay. would if you agreed with him and impressed him at the interview. Yes, right school, right background. Right wing. Exactly. <laughs> you mean con him, eh? That's right. And once on the board, do what you like. You know, it might work. How <laughs> can't they? Why not? They're too late to apply. Mm. You applied last week, actually. Here's the letter confirming right. your interview tonight. <laughs> you fair enough. Well, who else is applying? Only Bingham. Oh, but I'll never be able to out-creep him. Of course you can. Take a few lessons from Dick. Yes. <laughs> All right. Tell you what, let's go and have a drink. I mean, as soon as you've lumbered me for tomorrow, we might as well work out the act, eh? <laughs> right, Ray. <Great. laughs> oh, by the way, I think this paint could, place could do with a coat of paint. Now, look, I could sell you a no, gallon of paint. Thank How you about a work paint? No, thank you, No! Would you like a rock Oh, yes. Yes, one of the best interviews I've ever given, I reckon. Well, I mean, you know, even I must admit that. But, you know, it's funny, being on the board, it'll give my whole career a completely new direction, you know. I mean, what with my vast medical knowledge and my administrative abilities, I really think I could turn this hospital into something. A mess. Exactly. <laughs> Mind you, I... I'm sorry. Carry on, sorry. I really didn't think the interview would be such a walkover, you know. There was only one other candidate. Wearing. I mean, really, he's hardly competition, is he? Oh, here they are now. <laughs> what? Ah. Uh, can I buy you a drink? Oh, yes, I'll buy you a drink. 
Well, great. <laughs> How'd it go, bud? Very well. Good. I think I have convinced the chairman that I'm the arch conservative of all time. Good, good. Well, keep it up. Look, we'd better not be seen talking to you. Why not? Well, the chairman can't stand us. <laughs> Which Look, makes go. us, incidentally, very good friends of Bingham's. Ah, uh, I see. Ah, uh, Lawrence. Yeah. Hello, old boy. <laughs> hello, Waring. Oh, hello, Lawrence. All over then? Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Oh, uh, rather uh, confident. Really? Really? Mm. You realise uh, you were in there 15 minutes longer than me? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I know. Not a very good sign. Uh, yeah, well, well, I was talking to the chairman about his article in the uh, Financial Times. You what? Yes, about business administration in subsidised industries. I didn't know anything about that. Oh, didn't you? No. <laughs> uh, sorry, what were you talking about? Could uh, you business administration. Uh, well, <laughs> sir, would you like a drink? Oh, please. What would you like? Large brandy. Oh, thank you so Pleasure. much. Um, <laughs> you, um, not, 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 not taking anything yourself? No, 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 not while I'm on duty, sir. Ah, very wise, very wise. No, I don't drink either, sir, you know. Possibly Do I might rather have... good interviews this morning, I thought. Well, thank you very much, sir. That's oh, very I good. thought your questions were very thorough. Almost, uh, do forgive me, sir, almost to a fault. Oh, certainly thorough, but I wouldn't go so far as saying a fault. You know. Probably you're right, Dr. Waring. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes, you most probably are, Waring. <laughs> Dr. Waring. Oh. A word, please. Uh, do excuse me, sir. Of course. Very good friends, those two, sir. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, your behaviour has often astonished me, but this morning you really surpassed yourself. Sir? How do you have the gall to sit there calmly and state that the research facilities of this hospital are more than adequate? No, 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 you don't, don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. As soon as there's a chance of a little power, all one's principles are thrown away. I would actually prefer to have Bingham on the board. Ah, uh, sir, can I get you another drink? Oh, no, thank you. Sir, sir, no. I've got this great joke to tell you. There was a Scotsman, a nun, and a goat, and they all got together. I hardly think it's a sort of joke to tell in mixed company. No, it's very good, though. Actually, you ought to get Larry Bingham to tell it to you. Yeah, especially when he's had a few, he does all the actions as well, you know. <laughs> it sounds smutty. It's bloody filthy. <laughs> well, yeah. Hey, Larry, Larry, go here. I've just been telling the chairman what a boozy old ram you are. You what? Oh, uh, 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 me? What? Yes, uh, what? Whoa! <laughs> Know anything mm. about Waring at all? Who? Doctor Waring? No, not very much. No, he doesn't mix much with us. Uh, well, between you and me, and me, and him, he's a bit of a snob, you know. Mm -hmm. Eaten and all that. Yes, oh. says all the right things. Mm. Oh. His mother's a queen or something. I don't know. No. <laughs> oh. He's having you on. She's a countess. Countess, that's it, countess. Really? Who's a countess? Nobody. Dr. Waring's mother. What rubbish. She's yes. just... Yes, it is rubbish, isn't it? I mean, it does make him any better than us, doesn't no, it? No, what I'm trying to say oh, is... Oh, come it... on, Larry, please, don't get on your revolutionary kick, please. What? Oh, hell. What? Oh, I mean, uh, good. Good, good work. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> ah, Dr. Waring, you've oh. been hearing about your mother. Oh. Oh. Oh, her, uh, her... antlers? <laughs> I'm sorry I let it slip about your mother being a countess. <laughs> We'd no idea you were so well connected. Oh, well, uh, it, uh, yes, it, uh, yes, it comes as a surprise to lots of people. <laughs> <laughs> You're not really supposed to smoke in here, you know. It's for me nerves. Yes, I know, but it's not very good for your lungs. Oh, I know. I worry something dreadful about my lungs. That makes me nervous, and that's why I smoke. <laughs> How's me foot? Well, it's just a slight sprain. Uh, I'll bandage it up and you'll be fine. Oh, good. You see, I was just coming out of Oxford Circus Underground and I thought, now, I'll get myself a nice coat in real imitation leather. You see, <laughs> my husband's a policeman and they don't get much money. Anyway, I just stepped off the pavement and bang went me ankle. What, you, you did this in Oxford Circus? Yes. But that's miles away. Oh, I came on the tube. <laughs> you see, my son's a doctor here. Oh, I see. Right, now, Mrs. Waring, um... <laughs> Waring? Yes? Duncan Waring? That's right. Do you know him? And you're his mother? Yes! <laughs> I understand your mother's also interested in hospital charities. Mm, yeah, yes, very much indeed, yes. Yeah, well, you must bring her over for tea one day. I'd, I'd love to meet her and tell her about the sort of work we do here. Mm, yeah, yes, I will. But, uh, unfortunately, she's uh, in St. Moritz at the moment, skiing. <laughs> 
this time of year. Water skiing. In San Moritz. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind if I have a quiet word with Waring? Oh, no, sure. Carry on. Yes, Bingham. Uh, Waring, about your mother. What? Well, I, I don't really know quite how to put this. What? But I've had to admit your mother into my ward. What? Yes, well, it's nothing serious, nothing serious. Well, just, a, just a sprained ankle. Oh, it never was a very good skier, sir. <laughs> but how did you come to be here? Yes, how did you come uh, to be here, Waring? Um, private plane. A uh, private train. Plane. <laughs> oh, plane, plane. A private uh, plane. Yes, she, she also bumped her head, uh, most probably on her private propellers. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, we can't be too careful, so I've admitted her. Oh, well, excuse me, I'll better uh, go and see her. No, Waring, 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 I've just had a lovely idea. Don't you think it would be nice if you uh, took the chairman along to meet your mother? I mean, it's not often we have a countess admitted to our general wards, is it, sir? Indeed, <laughs> no. I'd love to. Ah. <laughs> yeah. lovely new research labs. Oh, don't soft talk me, Dick. You know very well you're only worried about all that paint you're being stuck with. No, I'm not. No, there's the workbenches and the rucksacks. Ah. <laughs> Look, you can't let us down now. The chairman was really very impressed with you. Well, he won't be when he meets his mother. What do you mean by that? Well, let's face it, Duncan. Your mother's nothing like a countess. Well, she isn't one. I know. Oh, look, can't you get her to act it up a bit? You're joking. Have you seen his mother? Look, will you stop talking about my mother like that? Ah, uh, Dr. Waring, or is it the uh, Right Honourable Queen or something? <laughs> now, look, Bingham, just out of interest, why are you keeping my mother under observation when all she's got is a sprained ankle? Ah, yes, 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 but she did hit her head. But I've told her that she can leave at three o'clock, so, you know, Waring, don't you think you'd better get in touch with a chauffeur or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're loving this, aren't you? I've also told her about the chairman, and, you know, she's really looking forward to it, and I must admit... So am I. <laughs> well, at least I could uh, tell the chairman it was a lie and that'd spoil Bingham's fun. Anyway, if you two, two tycoons don't mind, I'm going to go and see me mum. So that's it, is it? Yep. So you're going to tell the chairman? Yeah. Oh, great. Mm. Oh, don't worry about me. I've been broke before. You've been broke? It was my money that bought the stuff. Oh, look, I'm sorry, fellas. No, oh, that's all right. <laughs> well, I suppose Bingham will now get on the board. Oh, definitely. Mm. No research labs. Loftus will get more and more bad-tempered. Bingham will get more and more big-headed. Hey, I could get her to discharge herself before the chairman gets here. I like it. Yes! You've got about an hour. You better hurry up. Right. <laughs> Hello, Mum. Mum. Here. Duncan! Hello. Oh, look at you. You look like a painter. <laughs> <laughs> well, give us a kiss, then. Um. Well, go on, then. It's me, Mother. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's your ankle? Oh, fancy that happening to me. Yeah, near St Swithin's, too, eh? Oh, no, no, it happened to Toxford Circus. I dragged myself here on the tube just so I could be in your hospital. Oh, well, uh, let's have a look at it, then. Oh, there's nothing to see, but Dr Bigham thought I ought to stay here because of my head injuries. But you haven't got any, Mum. Oh, but there might be brain damage. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I was just talking to the doctor and he said you're fine. Oh, good. That's nice, isn't it? All's well that ends well. Oh, it is nice <laughs> to see you. And you, Mum. So, if you're all right, why don't you discharge yourself and go home, eh? I'll get you back. Oh, no, not till three o'clock. Oh, no, no, you don't have to stay, Mum. No, that Dr Bigham wants me to meet a distinguished person. Ah, well, that was another point, you see. Well, this distinguished person has been called away urgently, so, I mean, there's really no need for you to stay. Oh, no, I ought to wait and say goodbye to Dr Bigham. He was ever so jolly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mrs Waring. Oh, Mum, you remember Paul? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Duncan. Well? 
She won't leave. Look, don't worry, Dick's had a better idea. Oh, it's amazing how he works overtime where money's concerned. Well, he's going to try and persuade somebody to sit, sit in for your mother for five minutes. What? You know, some pucker type. Uh, you can introduce her to the chairman as your mother and she'll chat about hospital donations, etc. And uh, Bob's your uncle. I don't care who my uncle is, but he's going to play me mum. I've no idea. <laughs> but don't worry. What about Bingham, though? All taken care of. Five minutes before he comes in here with the chairman, Bingham will get a phone call from Mavis telling him that the that Loftus has specially asked for him to whip out a kidney. Uh, <laughs> See you in the end room at quarter two. OK. <laughs> you know, I don't like that Paul Collier. He'd sell his own mother if the price was right. <laughs> Hello? No, he isn't yet. Oh, Mavis? Yeah, it's Duncan. Look, ring again in about two minutes, will you? OK, tell him. I've been in this ward forever. Ah, it's Dr. Waring. I hope it's not inconvenient for your mother to see me now. Oh, well, actually, sir, yes. No, 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 Dr. Waring. No, I've had a word with her, sir, and she's really looking forward to it. Oh, good. Well, let's be Listen, something very important I must tell you. Listen carefully. Shall we go now, Dr. No, I think we should go in. We might... Ah, telephone. Oh, will you excuse me, sir? Good. Dr. Bingham here. Yes? What? What? No. No, simply out of question there. No. Sorry. What? He specifically asked for me. Oh, I see. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do excuse me, sir. Professor Loftus, you know, he wants me to give him a hand. Um, the Countess's bed number. No, I, I have Dr. Waring with me here. I'm sure he can find his own mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he can. Uh, Waring, uh, do give my apologies to her ladyship. Shall <laughs> <laughs> oh, we go then? This way, sir. Yeah. Hey, who'd you get? Well, it's a um, I'm waiting, Dr. Um, Mary. Yes, uh, in, in here, in sir. Here, yes. in oh, here, well, you'd better lead the way. Oh, fine. Uh, what? <laughs> Anything wrong? <laughs> Hello, Dr. Come in, come in. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. 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 Chairman, uh, M Mr. Lutyens, this... This is my mother. Awfully nice to meet you. <laughs> Awfully nice to meet you, Lady Waring. Oh, uh, now, let's not be formal. I'm Marguerite, but you can call me Madge. <laughs> Cyril Lutchins. Oh, Cyril. I must say I'm awfully pleased to meet you. I must say I'm sad, though, that you should be under these circumstances. Uh, yes, yes, and so am I. So uh, we don't want to overtax mummy, so I think we'll... Now, maybe... let's not be tedious, donkey. <laughs> I believe in coffee, your son. You have interest in hospital work? Oh, yes, I practically live in the hospital. Of course, my main interest is financial. I know nothing about medicine. No, you don't, do you, Mummy? And you are looking a little peaky, so... Uh, why don't you shut up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, uh, go and examine someone with your status what's it. <laughs> um, one moment, I have something to show you. <sighs> now then, what was I saying? Oh. <laughs> oh. Dick. Look, when Dick came out of that changing room, I didn't recognise him. I think he looks beautiful. I might even ask him out tonight. Well, I think <laughs> of course, uh, my own drawers aren't bottomless. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen my business connected. I say, Duncan, oh, would you get my things? You're quite right. There's no point in me hanging about here. I feel fine. Uh, well, no, no. I think you ought yeah. to go and sit down on your bed for another, another quarter of an hour or so, mummy. What? Yes. Oh, who's that? Uh, it's a patient. Uh, she's a bit out of his mind. Mm. Uh, her mind. Yeah, yeah, so, so just rest there for a bit, eh? Hey? Yeah, but you said I, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Now, if the hospital needs painting, for instance, I can arrange cut price paint for half the original price. <laughs> Indeed, that's mm. very interesting. Mm. Grey is a lovely colour, don't you think? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes. So if ever you want any paint, just let Duncan know. He's such a sweet boy, isn't he? He is indeed. Mm. Only there were more like him. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Take that Dr Bingham, for instance. Mm. Oh, nasty little cad he is. Do you know, he tells the most vulgar stories. He told me a snippet of scandal about you and Lady Cornfield. Cornford. Oh, oh, wicked boy, oh. Cyril. <laughs> um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but um, I don't want Mummy to overdo it. Yes, I think you're absolutely right. She should be allowed to rest. It's been delightful seeing you. And I should be seeing rather more of Dunkey here in the future. Sir? I'm going to invite you onto the Board of Governors. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you very much.
Yes, indeed. <laughs> Not at all, my boy. After the interview this morning, I decided you were the only one possible for the job. There was one dissenting voice, but I think I can sort him out. Well, it'll be a great pleasure meeting you, Madge. Oh, Cyril. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it! We've done it! <laughs> I did it at the interview this morning. There was no need to go through this. Well, it was fun. No, it wasn't. No, we've got you on the board, and that's what counts. Yes, yes, Rosso. Hey, we're going to get the new labs. Yes. And I am going to suggest that they are painted yes. green. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes to go, Duncan. Yes, ma'am. Well, sorry I didn't have much time to chat, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come over the weekend, yeah? Lovely. Oh, it's been nice seeing you again. Uh, I'll see you two later. Oh, hang on, I forgot my handbag. <laughs> oh, it's Jay. Are they, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a patient waiting for an operation. Yeah, eh? a sex operation. Uh, bye. <laughs> well, bye, Mum. Bye, bye, dear. I suppose with you being a doctor, you have to cope with all sorts. <laughs> yes, Mum. Hello. <laughs> Sorry to uh, leave you like that. Some some sort of mix-up. Uh, did you see uh, Lady Waring then? Eh? <laughs> Not up to much, is she? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bingham, yes. I'm rather disturbed by your attitude. I find this habit of yours of filth-mongering wherever you go not to be altogether a healthy one, sir. A lady of Lady Waring's sensitivity could easily be upset by you. Sensitivity? I mean, she's... Bingo! <laughs> you are a troublemaker, and I feel bound to tell you there's no place for troublemakers on my board. Do you mean to say that I'm not going to be on the... Precisely. But, sir, look, I'm not a troublemaker. Oh, Bingo! Oh, sir, sir, can I help you? Bingo, yes? if you ever burst into my theatre again with offers of unnecessary assistance, I shall personally sever both your carotid arteries. But, sir, I... I... Well, leave now, Bingham. I have things to discuss with Professor Loftus Yes, sir, 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 if I may explain to you. No, you may not. I may not explain. Get out. Get out. Now. Now. Goodbye. <laughs> now, perhaps, Professor Loftus, you will agree with me that Dr. Waring is the better choice. It's quite immaterial to me, Cyril. I'm quite sure you got the whole thing sewn up the way you want it. I'm sure the whole board join me in offering you a hearty welcome, yeah. Dr. Waring. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the first item on the agenda is... Mr. Chairman. Professor Loftus. For what it's worth, I'd like to add an extra item onto the agenda. Indeed, and what might that be? The scheme for the new research laboratories is presented before the autumn board. Have you a seconder? No, very well, then. I'll second that motion. Pardon? I'll second Professor Loftus's motion. Good Lord, I've done it. <laughs> Dr. Waring! Just put it down, sir, or just put it down. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> it's about the new labs. Oh, and about time, too. There aren't any on this floor, and with the amount of tea I've rich, I'll... Oh, oh shut, shut up! up. Oh,